Hey Aquarius, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again here at Just Beats Row Aquarius. My name is Michelle. How you doing? Okay, so we're going to get right into a love reading for you, Aquarius. Um, sun moon rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus. Anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart, there could be a word in this for you. Only take the message as it resonates and take it as it applies, Aquarius, okay? Yes, these are not gender-specific readings. All are welcome here, including the cross watcher. So let's get right into it for Aquarius. Sun moon rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus. Anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart. Let's see what's going on. Now, I'm getting this energy here um, to be fair. Let's see what it means. To be fair. I'm getting justice twice. Justice for all. To be fair. Okay. Okay, so sexuality. Move on. Divorce. Hmm. And then we have date night. <laughs> be ready to be wined and dined. Somebody may feel that someone is a waste of time. Um, they may be going through some type of breakup is, is what I'm getting here. Okay. So I, I am going to pull these cards down here so that we can really you know, see them and have room on the table. Okay, I do feel that you're going to be moving more into the energy of um, being wined and dined, okay, going on dates and things like that. You may be experiencing some type of breakup here is what the cards are saying, okay? Okay, so why is this um, sexuality card here though? Somebody figuring themselves out, figuring out what they want here? I'm getting the energy here that somebody is, um, well, let's just say, oh, rejection. Rejection is divine protection. Okay, so you <laughs> don't be mad, okay, about this breakup here with this, uh, whoever's resonating with this, all right, because it looks like rejection was definitely re protection here. If somebody has made you feel some type of way um, in regards to sex, in regards to passion, in regards to, you know, making out and, and doing what you do. There is an energy here where uh, rejection was actually divine protection in this. What is this next card here, please? move on someone is unavailable and basically wasting your time okay intuition you already know this right you already know this deep down inside or somebody uh, feels this way about you roles could be reversed for the five chance pose but there's an energy here where somebody may have gotten a clue or may have noticed that somebody, you know, um, was still figuring themselves out. And um, if that's the case, then it would be a waste of time. If, you know, it would be a waste of time. You already know the answers you seek. You don't have to, you know. And if you don't feel that you do, pray um, and get the answers from your higher self because your higher self knows. You've already received signs and synchronicities regarding this. You already know. There's the energy here of trust your intuition. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Fate. This is a destined partnership. So somebody that you're supposed to meet, someone who is going to cross paths with you, they may tell you that um, they just came out of a break. They just came out of a divorce, separation. They just, you know, broke up with someone. This may be the person that you're getting ready to get to know with this get ready to be wined and dined energy. This is faded, okay? This rejection was supposed to happen so that you could move on and meet someone new who also may have gone through a separation or a breakup. And so that's why spirit always says that it's, it's, it's not cool to hold on 
to the past or hold on because everything is happening behind the scenes for a reason. Okay. Things that are like out of your control and suddenly happening and you're putting in all the work and trying to make things happen. And it seems like things just don't happen the way they, that you want them to. It's because Spirit Guide Source literally has something else set up for you. Something that is fated and destined here. And as soon as you decide to, you know, leave and break up and things like that, um, because this person was wasting your time, they weren't putting in the time or the energy, they weren't showing up as you were showing up. As soon as you want to leave and, and close the door, move on, spirit literally opens a new door and allows a destined partnership to come through. But as soon as you do that, because this person is intuitive, they become obsessed with you. They want you back. So you may have literally had a conversation recently or somebody may have reached out to you or maybe you feel them intuitively. Okay? Because it looks like somebody is obsessed with thoughts about you. Yeah, because you're running into a true soulmate here with the date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. Oh, wow. There's a love spell here. Communication is here. Okay. And this distance is here. Okay. So with the distance, communication, and this you've been bewitched, somebody may have literally um, created some type of illusionary situation. They may have made you feel that, you know, they're no longer, you know, being involved with you, that they are wasting, you know, wasting your time and moving on. But in all reality, they're not if they're grippled with these um, this obsession energy here. Where is it? Oh, OK. This obsession energy over here. Yeah, but you were protected in whatever this is, the spellish energy. OK, Um and what I want to say is, I don't, you know, I don't really talk about that spell shit, but it is coming up here and um, Spirit is saying you're protected, but you know, protection always comes out for you, Aquarius. Okay. There's this element here where you are safe and being divinely guided. So don't hold on to anything from the past. Don't. Because it's blocking the door for the new. And it only keeps you in this space of rejection, right? But literally, it says protection here and protected here. This rejection was actually divine protection because somebody was out there, even if they didn't, even if it's not about literally their sexual preference, which, you know, everybody do whatever they want to do. We shouldn't be judging people for that. But... um. There's an energy here, but they may have been all over the place. They may have been dealing with others who um, are fluid, right? Because whoever this person is, or, you know, roles could be reversed for flop transpose. Whoever it is is laying with a lot of people. Um, they're picking up a lot of different energies, and then they're bringing it back to you or vice versa. Okay, but you've been protected. You are safe and divinely guided here. Why do I feel like there was something like that that went on? <laughs> okay, and look, coincidentally, which I don't believe in coincidences, the top of this card also says protect it. Okay, so wrapping it up. Okay, protected by your guides. All right. A hell yes turns into a hell no. Okay, a Virgo may be involved here. You may have Virgo significantly in your chart or vice versa. But at the end of the day, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Loves, accepts, and respects unconditionally. Now, you may have done some type of spell work. All right? I don't know. Okay? So let's uh, get something here. Regarding this reading. I like it. Okay, now of course change 
change is uh, one thing that no one likes, right? We like to stay in our comfort zone, but I feel this energy here where um, being moved into the unknown may be, may be a little scary. We may want things to go back as they were, you know, where it was, you know, a really good experience, the good times, right? And delete the bad ones, but it doesn't work like that, okay? Spirit wants you to know that you have been being divinely watched over, kept, protected from hurt, harm, and danger as much as you could be, okay? Because we do have free will, right? Also, okay, yeah, somebody's stuck and grippled with thoughts. But if you allow, there's a soulmate coming in here. There's a soulmate coming in here. <laughs> Hang on. In there. There's an energy here where you may have had to look at something from a different perspective. You may feel that you've sacrificed a lot in this relationship, okay? But there's also an energy here where you needed to heal some childhood, something that's connected to the childhood when it comes to rejection, okay? This may be for somebody who experienced some type of abandonment or rejection in their past life. Doesn't even have to be in this one, in a past life or in this life in the past. Through family, friends, siblings, um, loved ones or relationships. It was never healed. Okay. And so there's some type of patterns just being asked to look at again. Look at this in a different and look at this in a different way. Okay. Don't try to hold on to the past. Look at it from a different perspective because this rejection was protection. Was. Five of Swords? Yeah. Mind games and manipulation. Okay? Playing on your heartstrings here. Gaslighting. Controlling. Prideful. Wanting to win at any cost, right? They could have um, any water sign. They could have Aquarius moon energy. Okay? Or this could be you. Roles could be reversed for flop, chance, bold. You could have water in your rising and you're showing up like this. Okay? Doesn't matter. Okay? But the hangman first card out um, is your energy. This is a pause. Things are hung up in the air. You're looking at this from a different perspective. At least that's what spirit wants you to do. Okay? What else is here, please, for Aquarius? We have the chariot. Yes, yeah, Spirit wants you to look at this from a different perspective and move on. Move on with the chariot. Jump a timeline, okay? Move on. Even though it may be hard to do so, when it pertains to this, okay? What else is here, please? Ooh, seven of wands. Yeah, needing to stand up for yourself, needing to protect your energy. Maybe somebody was projecting onto you even, Pro projecting their fears onto you. Something about abandonment, something about childhood, something about growing up. Okay, in another life or another lifetime, in another timeline. But somebody may have been projecting onto you and it was important for you to protect your energy. Okay, see this from a different perspective because I am getting to be fair. All right, that's what I, that's what I got when I first got on here. To be fair. Okay, standing up for oneself and saying, hey, wait a minute, you know. Somebody may be looking at something the wrong way, viewing it from a wrong lens or something like that, okay? It could be you. What else is here, middle of the spread? Five of wands, yeah. Feeling like you got to, you know, you got to compete. You know, the five of wands could talk about all them different several people. 
Maybe feeling like you got to fight for your seat at the table. You should not have to do that. This could be your own inner struggle. Like, dang, maybe I should have fought for this. Maybe, you know, or somebody else feels that way. Maybe I should have fought for this. Maybe I shouldn't have let so-and-so tell me this and so-and-so tell me that. Okay, maybe I should have put myself first. All right. I had high hopes for this relationship. The seven and the five is 12. That's, you know, that's big hopes, big dreams. Yeah, somebody is kind of having nostalgic thoughts of the past. And that might be the energy of thinking about this over and over. Okay, thinking about or going over what could have been or what should have been or something like that. I don't know. What is this, please? Yeah, Six of Swords. But Spirit again is asking, if this is you, Spirit again is asking you to move on and move on. Chariot, go up and onward. Okay, you're moving up. Graduate, learn the lesson, move on. Okay? Six of Swords, moving you out of choppy waters to the sun, moving you away from these mind games, these internal struggles, moving you away from feeling as though, you know, you have to fight for your seat at the table. You don't. Not for anybody. Either they accept you, they want to get to know you, they want to be fair and get to know you, pour into this, um, be a part of this or not, okay? But two of wands exists here in the background. It says, you know, as you put yourself first, everyone else puts you first. There's, there's, there's a plan that the universe has for you. Okay, yeah, moving forward, moving on. Two of Wands is lingering here. Okay, so let's see what's here. The star, there you are, darling. There you are, a major arcana. Okay, yes. Okay, receiving some type of spotlight energy. And the star, although it represents you, it also is your true north. All right, it's a true northing star. Okay, it is moving in the right direction, okay? It is also faded energy. You may be manifesting something or someone, something or someone, someone is manifesting you, okay? You're being seen as a star. You're getting a lot of attention here, okay? Now, you were the one who may have been making some sacrifices for this relationship or connection, okay? You may have felt like <clears throat> you had to um, stand up and protect someone even, all right? Um, because there is somebody else here in this um, card. So this could be protecting your family, protecting your friends, protecting your reputation, protecting yourself, okay? All right, needing to stand up for yourself. There may be something that you needed to look at from a different point of view, okay? When it pertains to your expression and how you are um, showing somebody your energy or vice versa, moving on, what's this? Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, things going really slow. But, you know, this is the this is the footstool, okay? So, things are moving really slow. You need to dot your I's, cross your T's. You're thinking about it, making sure you make the right decisions for yourself. And then there's this energy here of maybe having an outburst, maybe standing your ground, maybe speaking up here, okay? And um, literally breaking out of some type of pattern or something and moving forward with the Six of Swords. What's the... Ooh, wait. Four of Pentacles. Ooh, the Empress. I lo 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 love this. Uh, the Empress, the Lovers, the King of Wands. The Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands and the Fool. <laughs> this is all of that beautiful energy of your soulmate loving you, accepting you, respecting you unconditionally, showing you receipts, okay? This is literally someone taking the plunge. This is the brand new fresh start here. Uh, it may be within Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius, but ten whole cups, okay? This is emotional bliss, okay? It's, it's fulfillment, on another level, okay? It's everything that you could ever want. It's comfortability within here, within the home, okay? Yes, and with the Queen of Cups, this is a very 
intuitive energy, but it's love. Okay, it's caring, it's compassion, it's um, intuitive, it's, you know, ooh, it's a love that I can feel, right? I want a love I can feel. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, King of Wands. Okay, so they could be a King of Wands, um, Queen of Cups energy, fire, water. That's a nice balance. Okay, all right. They go after what they want. They know how to make the steps. Somebody's coming after you, okay, with the lover's energy here. And the Empress, somebody sees what they want and they're going after it, okay? All right, I do feel that you're going to have to make um, a decision here. I do feel that. You're going to have to, you know, make the decision to cut something out and move forward, okay? There's a destined partnership coming towards you. And this person could tell you that they were in... A marriage, a relationship, it didn't work, okay? They're starting over. They took a leap of faith, um, and they're doing this, they're doing that. They may have a brand, okay? They may be a very, um, they could be a creator, a motivation speaker. They could be an athlete. They may be into music, okay? They're a person who is coming towards you with the soulmate energy, Okay, Star, Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Don't hold on to the end result. You do have support here. You don't have to hold on to the end result of anything. Um, Spirit is asking you to just stay grounded. That's what I'm getting. Stay grounded here. What's the hangman, please? Okay, the hangman is the two of wands and the queen of pentacles. Someone is um, considering, okay? When they look at this in a different perspective, they're considering their new plan. They're considering their next move. They're considering, you know, how they're going to move forward, all right? And do what's best for them, queen of pentacles. Looking at what they want is what I feel. Okay, looking at what they want, yeah, because they're your guides, you already know, like this card says, you already know that you're supposed to move on. Your guides have already given you signs and synchronicities that there's other people involved here, okay? Yes, and that you do not have to fight for your place at the table. You don't, is what I feel, okay? Yeah, you're seeing this. You're seeing this. Now, there's also an energy in here that little little do you know or whatever, somebody is watching you or, or somebody is watching you, you're watching them, or um, you're collecting information. It's almost like you're, you're a bone collector. You already have information. You already have receipts. Yes, that's what you have. Somebody has receipts, okay? Signs, synchronicities, okay? Receipts, actual ones, all right? Somebody needs to put themselves first. You could have been dealing with um, anybody. But I see Pisces, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I don't know who that is. Okay. Scorpio is here. Leo, Cancer. Let's see. Or another Aquarius, somebody who has Aquarius in their chart. Or this could be you. Let's see. What is the Six of Cups? The Ace of Cups, yeah. Needing to heal whatever this pattern is, whatever this is. Someone felt this in their heart chakra. Why am I being rejected again? Or something is coming up that's triggering someone, okay? And it's making them confused. Six of Cups with the Ace of Cups, okay? It's making them feel some type of way, all right? And they need to make a choice to love themselves first. 
okay? And put up healthy boundaries. This is what I feel. Okay? Put up healthy and clear boundaries. Step back with love. With the, um, with the hangman here, somebody was in denial is what I'm kind of getting. Somebody needs to step back with love, okay? And look at the full picture here. Hmm. All right, seven of wands. What is this? Because it became quite frustrating, apparently, dealing with this person, feeling drained. Is what I'm seeing. Yeah, spirit wants you to move on. Follow your own intuition and move on. Six of Swords. Move past this. Okay? Maybe that's what you did. Okay? Maybe it's like, okay, this is what I have to do. I have to do this for me. I don't want to, but I have to. Yeah, so that I could be happy. So that I could be happy. So I could have wish fulfillment. Because you will get wish fulfillment. You will. Okay? And it's like you're not even looking for this. Yeah, because you were rejected. Okay? Or you rejected somebody. Either way, there's rejection here because somebody was feeling like they were by themselves anyway. Four of cups, ace of cups. That's five cups. Somebody's feeling rejected. Somebody was feeling alone anyway. Even if someone dips in once in a while and says hello or whatever, it's not the same as somebody feeling like they have a soulmate, right? Six of Cups, a true soulmate. It's not the same. So there's a new soulmate that's coming in towards you. They're more grounded, okay? They may be younger than you, older than you. I don't know. Yep, see? Here we go. Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. Wow, they're coming in fast, okay? <laughs> Why do I want to say, yeah, with the um, tower here? This is something you don't even see coming in the future. The star is the future. The star is the path. The star is the northern star. Okay, so it's you're on the right path here. Okay, even though it may not feel like it. You may be busy looking at the spilled cups. Okay, or the times that you were together with somebody from the past when you know when at a time when you were happy before at a time you know for this or that but there's an energy here where a spirit is literally offering you up a new cup okay and it may be coming in fast it may be somebody who is very responsible very grounded um someone who you know is a straight talker someone who's a you know a straight shooter Okay, someone who, you know, is like, this is who I am, take it or leave it. This is who I am. Okay, but this is somebody new here with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. Okay, so you may be speaking to this person within the next, I don't know, couple of days, couple of weeks, within the next two weeks or something like that is what I'm feeling. Okay, yeah, look, it's a new soulmate. <laughs> It's a new soul bank. Even though I do kind of feel when I look at this, now somebody is trying to hold on to you is what I feel also. Because I see the nine of cups, six of cups is three of cups. Okay, so that could talk about a reconciliation as soon as somebody feels you loosening your grip, not, not thinking about this person anymore, pouring into yourself. Because it's like they can either see you or they can see you with their third eye. They can sense you. Okay, they can read you. Okay, there's also that energy here. Somebody may be going to a tarot reader and um, Spirit is asking you to dig a little deeper. Okay? Into yourself. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? And deal with that for some of you. Others of you, this is somebody, this is what this other person is being asked to do, okay? But like I said, there's somebody new coming in. You may be going out through dates, okay? Because Spirit is moving you into the Nine of Cups. The Nine to the Six, there's three cups here, okay? Three cups could talk about celebration. It could talk about going out and having fun. You could be on a double date or somebody could be introducing you to this person, okay? You could even be going to a party with a Libra. There's also an energy here, but this um, soulmate is going to offer you support, emotional support. 
because the four to the six is two cups, okay? So there's definitely a soulmate here. There's definitely romance in the air, okay? And there's definitely a um, an attraction here. I feel like there's an age difference. <clears throat> there's an age difference and somebody is, you know, there's love here, okay? It's, it's, it, I want to say it's twinish energy, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, it does not have to be. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody's going to tell you about how they used to be married, they're divorced. Just like this divorce card says. They used to be married, they're divorced, or they just came out of some. They just, you know, came out of a long-term relationship here. And now they're focused on money. They're focusing on, you know, their a second job, okay, you may run into this person because, you know, that's what they're doing, something like that, all right? But yes, I did want to bring out, where are my other cards? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's just see. These are the blessed bee cards. All right, let me just see what these have to say for you. Don't forget, we have protected, informant. So somebody may literally be hooking you up with a blind date or one of your friends are hooking you up or you and your friends are going out and you meet this person okay there could be a virgo involved here um a hell something that used to be a hell yes turned into a hell no and now that hell no is going to turn into a hell yes is what i feel there could also be a taurus energy here with the bull energy okay this could be somebody from your job as well all right oh beauty yeah with the empress here okay somebody finds you to be beautiful all right. Oh, damn it. Somebody is regretful as heck. Okay. Yeah. Leo may be regretful. Okay. Oh, elephant. Yeah. Somebody to protect. Okay. A tribe. All right. What you gonna call it? Okay. So you may be creating something for yourself. Look at this. I love you. Okay. All right. Mm hmm. Now, of course, this isn't for somebody who's not looking for love because then you wouldn't accept any of this stuff that's out here on the table, okay? Yeah, so the angel of imagination, that's wishes, dreams, okay? Very colorful, okay? Yeah, you, a very creative person is what I'm getting. A very creative person, okay? So let's just bring out um, one, two, three more. I'm sorry, two more, spirit, two more. Angel of Imagination with the number eight here. 17 breaking down to an eight. You're being guided to, to uh, one another, okay? Um, there's also an energy here of interconnection, all right? Yeah, but this is creativity. Someone's a creative is what I feel. Look at this. Angel of New Beginnings. You see that? There's a portal open for you. Your guides are leading you through it. <laughs> okay? With this uh, angel of imagination, you're creating your future. Your future is destined. Okay? So you have a hand in this. Definitely. We always do. Angel of faith. Yes. You're being directed in this. <laughs> in this. Okay? Yeah. You're being encouraged. Like I said, did I sing that song? Hold on in there. What you gonna do when your back's against the wall? How you gonna smile when it seems our hope is lost? Tell me what you gonna do when you need a little more faith. How you gonna smile when they seem to test your face? Hang on in there. It's a song. You can look it up. It's called Hold On. <laughs> I got carried away, Aquarius. I'm sorry, but we have imagination. So this is you creating your physical reality using your imagination and being directed in your dream space. All right. There's also the energy here where somebody is a creator. They may love to listen to music. They may, um, you know, like to paint, draw, sing, um, act, dance. They may be funny, like they have um, a comedic, a comedy-like um, nature about them, okay? 
Um, with the Angel of New Beginnings, though, and this number 22, this is a master number, okay? So you've learned some things, okay? And you are ready for this new cycle, this new beginning in your life. You're being asked to trust and walk through this portal, okay? Uh, very abundant energy over there. And <laughs> Spirit is saying, have faith. Don't be scared, okay? There's nothing to be nervous about. You're being given directive. And again, you are protected, <laughs> okay? Protect it, okay? And again, rejection is protection, all right? This is what I have, and I hope it was helpful. Until next time, take care and be well.